Very good day and Assalamualaikum to everyone in the conference at North Samsira Kamsi from University Science Malaysia. So the title of my study to be presented is Assessing Questionnaire's Validity of Fisherman Vulnerability, a pilot study in Qatar. So this presentation will be organized as follows. First thing first, we go to introduction, the introduction for the B40 groups and who are the small scale fisheries involved in this study. And then some sort of background of what is vulnerability and food security concern in the study. Then we go to research objective, framework, uh, some sort of methodology, result analysis, discussion, and conclusion. The poverty alleviation is one of the sustainable development goals and has been one of Malaysia development objectives since independence. Okay? From year 1970 to year 2016, Malaysia has succeeded in reducing the poverty rate from 49% to 0.4%. However, in a detailed analysis from a report by Kazana Research Institute published in 2016, poverty issues are still critical. Okay, for instance, the report shows that a household who earns a 15,000 ringgit monthly income spend only 45% of their income uh, for the household expenditure listed in the survey, while for the household with 2,000 ringgit Malaysia income spend almost of their entire of their income, which is 94%, to consume those items listed in the survey. So this shows. Uh, how the vulnerable this low income area is. Okay. In Malaysia in 2019, there is 2.9 million of households belong to B40 group. But the B40 group refer as 40% lowest upon household earns income less than 4,800. This is the recent data which is revised in July 2020. The B40 group is defined as the vulnerable group due to the fact that they have less income and well asset. It is on the source of income among all the economic sector, the agriculture sector recorded the lowest median income earned by the household, which is only uh, 3,800, which is they are below in the B40 category, in B, uh, sorry, B2 category in B40 group. Uh, why is it happened? This is because of the long neglect of agricultural sector as nation concentrated on massive industrialization and insufficient fund to rejuvenate this sector has left this sector remain uncompetitive. That is result many small scale farmers and many small scale fishermen today has lots of issues and challenges in the subject of in the subject of poverty and vulnerability. It was only around 2000-something uh, during the time of Tun, Ahmad, uh, Tun Abdullah Ahmad Maidawi which the government attempted to redirect this industry with massive fund, yet it is not fully recovered. Okay? Uh, in the small-scale fisheries context, for instance, government assistance such as petrol subsidy, living allowance, house ownership scheme and etc. are still not able to solve this uh, fisherman uh, deprivation. Although Malaysian fishery sectors have a major role in supplying animal protein to the nation, the income earned by these small-scale fishermen is far below the statistic reported. Okay, in a reality check, there are still many of them earn income reach between 300 ringgit to 2,000 ringgit. Okay, despite of low income and low asset, fishermen are being exposed to multi stresses such as climate change, excessive trawlers, fish erosion, and pollution, which increase their vulnerability more compared to other agricultural sectors. The unexpected adverse effect closely related to the fishing industry, which involve fishermen and coastal communities who depend solely on the fishing industry. The strategies that are being used by this group uh, when facing this situation uh, basically in, uh, consists of two aspects, which is strategy on food and strategy on expenditure and income. Okay, for for instance, for household earning below two thousand, the remaining income after inflation inflation adjustment is only seventy six ringgit. So that it shows they are very potentially very vulnerable against economic shock and crisis. 
and even uh, they are also cutting back on actual consumption of food okay despite spending more money on it given high food inflation which resulted the nation failed to achieve the objective zero hunger in sustainable development goals sdgs 2 Malaysia current achievement for zero hunger in SDG2 is below par and need to be rectified. The main concern is towards B40 group from rural area, especially fishermen whose income totally affected by nature frost. In many developing nations, households that depends on fishing activities as the main source normally threatened by food security problem. Hence, question raised here, does this food uh, producer are also part of the vulnerability group in food security issue? And what are their strategies to survive in meeting their necessities? Despite of fishermen earn low income, nonetheless, income deprivation does not sufficiently reflect the complexity and the reality of fishermen poverty in Malaysia as household profiles are various and requires assessment from various dimensions. In a fisheries contact, unlike the farmers, they are landless and their sole resources is subject to open access, thus making a meaningful interpretation of vulnerability among fishermen is challenging. In general, there are few specific studies that integrate food security concept in measuring the vulnerability, especially in Malaysia. Uh, the poverty rate does not depict the real situation of this vulnerable group, for instance, basic necessi necessities such as food. The vulnerability index in this study will remeasure the vulnerability by taking into account their food security concept. Uh, so, uh, this is aligned with the policies on food security, dasar agu makanan negara dan dasar keselamatan makanan kebangsaan which align towards surplus that involve with availability and stability aspect of the food. Uh, however, there is still no particular policy design focusing on the as aspect of accessibility and utilisation. This India also important in managing the vulnerability threat that need an indicator especially involved with food security. With index policy maker could make more proactive decision. This achievement in various food security indicators show the nation will not only benefit benefit that from better food access but from the availability, utilization and stability from the food necessities. This food security assurance also vital since it becomes one of the benchmark in developing a nation. So uh, the research objective here is to identify factors influence vulnerability of fishermen. Second one is to evaluate food security status among the vulnerable group. And the third one is to produce vulnerability index integrate with food security. So, most of the researchers that study on vulnerability include factors such as ge geographical, environmental, economics, demographic policies, and capital. This conceptual framework integrates seven main factors or seven new dimensions that consist of demographic, capital, geographical, uh, natural endowment, policies, economy, and food security. So what is vulnerability here? Vulnerability considered as defined as external factor that influence human living and could not be controlled. For instance, factors like shock, trend and season. Shock could be referred as disease, natural disaster, uh, economic conflict and world growth of livestock and crops. Meanwhile, trend encompasses population, cause of trend. Uh, including conflict, world and national economic, government, political and technology. Season include price, production, health and job opportunities. The vulnerability factors are factors that directly influence asset ownership and ability to fulfill their basic needs. Uh, more so, the author okay, also explained the vulnerability concept and poverty are the same concept but using different approaches. A fundamental poverty is a statistics con static concept and be measured in specific duration. Meanwhile, vulnerability is a dynamic concept, include various multidimensional multidimensional aspect dealing with socio-economic status changes involved with individuals entry and exit from this concept. 
Food security here, food security exists when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food to meet their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. Okay, the demographic uh, in this study refer to the, uh, the measure okay, from the adaptive capacity. Okay, uh, adaptive capacity is quantified by the demographic profile of a district such as percent of female-headed household, the type of livelihood strategies employed and etc. Okay, um, because uh, in this study when uh, we want to calculate the vulnerability, we use the term of adaptive capacity, exposure and sensitiveness. So by the demographic information, we could uh, measure the level of their adaptive capacity. Our capital here in the study measure from the sub-indicators consists of human social, a human capital, social capital, physical capital, financial capital, and natural capital. Uh, on the geographical dimension, we measure the sub-indicators such as climate change, that relating to the sea temperature and the cost and also multiple stress, stresses such as increasing pollution, excessive stroller, decreasing and decreasing mangrove. Natural endowment here uh, we refer as the farmer or fishermen that depend exclusively on natural resources for their livelihood. So this study assessing the importance of natural endowments such as beach for recreational and collecting items or handicraft or collection of items such as wood and herbal from forest to generate some income. And institutional policy relate with the, um, uh, the policy to control of the trawlers, uh, illegal equipment, post fishing, marine debris, marine pollution, that contribute to the decrease of resource pool that need close monitoring from the authorities. Economy in this uh, study's view, government has in uh, government's assistance and incentive uh, towards the fishermen. So how, how, um, how all of that influence uh, their livelihood? Okay, so since this study will integrate with the food security. Okay, actually, the food security concept could be divided into four, uh, four main, uh, four main uh, component, which is food availability. Availability here means uh, availability of food that sufficient, okay, appropriate uh, supply through domestic production or import, including uh, food aid. Food access here refer as the adequate resources to acquire appropriate food for a nutritious diet. Entitlement are defined here as the set of all community bundles over which a person can establish command, even the legal, political, economic, or social arrangement of the uh, community in which he or she lives, including traditional rights such, such as access to common resources. Food utilization here, uh, food utilized to adequate diet, clean water, sanitation, and health care to reach a state of nutritional well being in which all physical needs are met. Okay, food stability, stability of access to adequate food at all times, independent of shocks such as um, economic or climate or cyclical patterns. So, this includes issues of uh, seasonal food insecurity such as the agriculture period before harvest uh, being known as the hunger season. Okay, so we go to the methodology uh, what are the population and the sample. Okay, so the study focusing on registered fishermen under Lembaga Kemajuan Ikan Malaysia, LKIM. So they are uh, coastal fishermen from uh, a class group. Okay, the A class group is defined as those who are using the traditional vessel, uh, which is small boat. Okay, and access distance from zero to five nautical miles. Nautical miles. Okay, and so for this pilot study, we only use the minimum sample, which is only thirty percent uh, has uh, uh, had been interviewed. Okay. Uh, so this is the population distribution of coastal fishermen uh, A class. Okay, 
So the study used random sampling technique and respondents were interviewed face to face. The background information of the respondent were gathered from Persatuan Nelayan Kawasan, which is P and K. And to get further detail, researcher has contacted the local leader who in charge a particular area to get more information as to meet the sample criteria requirement. Okay, so this is the result and discussion for the descriptive statistics that we have found out that 46.7% uh, of respondents attain proper education until high school. Uh, however, only 40% only of them are able to own a property. And there's only 20% of them who engage with second economic activities. Okay, so basically they have uh, no other job okay, if anything happens to them. Respondents able to assess the electricity and water supply at home. Okay, they do have certain area to do any gardening activities. However, most of them, which is 75%, do not have interest and do not involve in farming activities either for self-consumption and for commercial. Okay. For the number of members in one household, basically they are range from 1 to 15% in a house. 100% of the respondent also do have the means for of transportation, communication, and uh, media platform, okay, like television, television, and phone, and that's the equipment for food preparation such as kitchen and fridge. The reliability analysis, which uh, which we want to check the internal consistency. Okay, so basically at this table, there is a two value. Okay, the first one is Combash Alpha uh, 1, shows the original number of items we use, uh, which is uh, how many questions that we use uh, before we run the PCA. Uh, so this is the value. And uh, the value of combat alpha 2 is the one that uh, we use okay, after the principal component analysis has been uh, taken into account. So we will see that the question uh, items has been reduced uh, as in that table. So the value of combat alpha has improved after the elimination of certain question except uh, for food availability factor, which is less than 0 0.5. Okay, for the cross tabulation, okay, we run this analysis because we want to see uh, which group that um, agree that they are vulnerable. Okay, there's a question on vulnerability. So, a cross tabulation, we run from the discrete, uh, the demographic factor which group that uh, want to express themselves as vulnerable. So the result is 80% respondents agree that they are exposed to the vulnerability. So among condition level that could influence the severity of their vulnerability such as they were married. So most of uh, respondents that who are married uh, claim that they are exposed to the vulnerability situation. And they have more than 3% in the household depend on them. Okay, while well, children are still learning in uh, institution or children are unemployed and they are member, uh, household members also work as a fisherman okay, or working in a low paid jobs. Also, process income level less than 1,500 and those one who have no fixed saving jewelries accessibility to do any financial work. For the intercorrelation, so um, the intercorrelation information could provide necessary information in indicating relationship among factors. The result uh, shows uh, based on the value of spearmint correlation. So even though there are low relationship between factors, these factors were selected based on significant value which is p less than 0 0.05 okay if you we look at the table okay so these are the integration among the factors 
so we can see that uh, most of the factors that highly correlate with each other okay such as if, uh, if we look at one by one that vulnerability are quite a significant associate with the geographical factor okay and also have the relationship with the food access okay, so it shows negative relationship here meaning that if there is increase in vulnerability food access will be reduced and then um, capital okay is having relationship with the food stability also have there is a negative relationship okay the less capital that they have okay the more instable their yeah, food uh, stability is. Okay, and then we look at the natural endowment. Okay, who has high, uh, who has sorry, who has a relationship with the geographical factor, institutional policy, food availability, food stability, and food util utilization. So we see here. Uh, yes, fishermen, uh, they are solely depends on the generosity of the nature resources, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's why it is highly correlated. Uh, uh, the natural endowment is correlated with many factors here. Okay, and then, same goes to the geographical factor also. Geographical factor like climate change, about beach erosions, all those kind of things also have many uh, associate perhaps or have as associate with many factors right okay and you can see also that food accessibility also have relationship with the institutional policy okay this is more on government intervention okay so this so basically, this intercorrelation will provide us an insight in order to uh, formulate the calculation of the vulnerability index. Okay, we also run several uh, tests okay, to uh, identify whether this model can uh, be used or not and is reliable or not. So based on the model fitting regression, what they all give a significant value which is less than 0 0.05 which indicate the data fits the model okay this means that the model gives better prediction than if somebody just guess based on the marginal probabilities for the outcome categories and then we also do the did the goodness of fit test okay so by referring the table the significance value fails to reject the null hypothesis so this indicates the model is better for logistic and ordinary regression model, okay, based on the attained value of pseudo R squared, the construct of variable gives sufficient prediction of vulnerability as the value from a Nagel curve 0.62% indicates that there is a medium proportion of the variation in explaining the vulnerability. The next one is test of parallel, parallel lines. Okay, so for location on the model, the test parallel lines can help assessing whether the assumption that the parameters are the same for all categories is reasonable. So referred to below result, the value uh, is more than 0 0.05 indicates the test failed to reject the null hypothesis that indicates the location parameters which is slope coefficient are the same cross respond categories okay so for the conclusion so as this is the preliminary study before uh, we can develop the uh, vulnerability index so, so yes uh, the study has provided some insight on which issue this study should aim okay for it uh, for constructing the vulnerability index and this study also able to see the cost and effect from each dimension so results suggest the equation and model is adequate to assess the vulnerability situation among coastal fishermen in Malaysia. Okay, so that's, that's all from me. So thank you very much uh, for your time.